practicing intentional conscious self-leadership will skyrocket your spiritual growth and it will teach you so much about yourself and how to coexist with higher dimensions. Self-leadership is really important. And today I want to talk about one key aspect of self-leadership and it is integrity. So let's dive in. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Sylvia Salo and I help light workers, starseeds, priestesses, leaders to remember who they are and to step into their highest potential and unlock their soul gifts and channel them into a life they want to create. Now, I have talked about leadership on my channel in a few different videos, so you may want to go back after watching this one and re-watch them. Because leadership is so important. Regardless of where we are, we can all be the leaders of our lives. We don't have to be like leading other people by telling them what to do. This is not what a true leadership is about. A true leadership is about becoming the best, highest version of yourself. Intentionally, consciously, you are gradually evolving and stepping into that highest version of you. And of course, this path never ends because you can always step into a higher and higher aspect of yourself, right? This is the ascension journey. We are elevating our consciousness as we are returning back to the source eventually, one day. So leadership is something that anyone can practice. It's not about other people. It's all about being the best version of you for yourself. And so when you are consciously practicing leadership, there are so many nuances and things to consider. You will be likely dealing with you know, some kind of soul wounds and fears from different lifetimes. You will likely have to address your relationship to power, to being visible, to have an impact. Allow yourself to be successful. You will have to learn how to lead yourself and how to lead with other people. You will need to learn all kinds of things. By the way, I'm teaching all this in my spiritual leadership program, if you are interested. But today I want to talk about one specific aspect of leadership, which is so exciting to me. It's very attractive. And it is integrity. Integrity means that you are in alignment with your values and with who you are. From a different perspective, integrity means that your um, soul body, your mind body, emotional body and the physical body are in coherence with each other. So that the source energy and your spirit energy can flow through those bodies without any obstacles, and then you have the energy and the potency to manifest something that came from the soul. So there is there are in alignment those bodies. But if one of the bodies is like, you know, out of alignment, if there is a question, what is the correct thing to do, and your heart tells you one thing and your mind another, then this is exactly where integrity can help you to close that gap. Because I believe the integrity is so much about finding coherence between the heart and the mind. Integrity also is something that exists between the subconscious mind and the conscious mind. It's like a little bridge between the two now. Let's say you are considering to cheat at the exam uh, at the university. You want to like copy someone else's results into your test. Now, it can cross your mind, but you can choose not to act on it. So you use this aspect which is between the subconscious and the conscious mind and you make a different choice in alignment with your integrity and you're like, okay, I didn't study. I take the responsibility for failing at this exam. Let me learn from it. Integrity is evolving with the level of our consciousness. So what we may have considered to be okay when we were younger may not feel aligned anymore. 
because as you evolve your consciousness you will have like more refined taste for what is integrity and when we think about the higher dimensional beings when they are looking at our akashic records where they can see all our thoughts emotions actions like really everything that we have ever felt and done acted on what they are specifically interested in is to see where we are in terms with our integrity because you know to those higher beings we are just like the babies and so we are expected to be making mistakes but we are also expected to eventually learn from those mistakes and understand for us based on the level of our consciousness what is right and wrong for us. We may agree on some things that are right and wrong and many things are very individual. You know, for someone it may not be in integrity to eat a candy like from a child, right? And for someone else it can be no big deal. You know, there are many nuances to it. But what is important for those higher beings when they are looking at us is like if we finally understand what is right and wrong for us, no one can force this upon you. You, can, you cannot be really forced to do the right things if you don't feel it in your heart. It has to, it grows with that level of consciousness. The more we are in integrity, the better we can balance and stay in that centered way between what is so-called light and dark, right and wrong. As I mentioned in my other videos, which you might find interesting, on Christ consciousness and the difference between the lower and higher self, at the level of the Christ consciousness, we are supposed to find that balanced, centered, neutral state of being, which is not swayed by right and wrong. Let me give you an example <laughs> on a practical level. Let's say you have a friend who is complaining to you about something that happened uh, earlier in the day in their work. And as they are telling you the story, you can immediately see, well, actually, you know, it was a mistake of your friend, not of, let's say, the colleague the person is complaining about. Now, if you are in your integrity, you tell them lovingly that you think actually that it was their mistake. <laughs> lovingly is the key word here, yes. And you don't affirm their illusion. You don't affirm other people's egos because it's not loving and it's not in integrity with who you are. So you don't take a stance based on personal likings. You don't judge someone harsh just because you don't know them. You don't make emotional judgments. You don't make special cases. Like the ego loves making special cases. It's like, yeah, I know that this is uh, wrong to do in general, but in this case, it's a special case and I make exception, you know, because of something. A typical example of this could be if someone is in a committed relationship and cheats on the other partner because they love someone else, they use that love to justify the act. But is it in integrity? That's the question, right? There is, for example, a potentiality to tell your actual partner, hey, things are not working in our relationship. Let's fix it. Let's talk about it. And tell them about the other person. And if they then decide to go and have pursue relationship with someone else, they should communicate it in advance. And not use that love as an excuse to do something that's hurtful to other people, let's say. This is just like one common example that I have seen a lot, especially people who have experienced the twin flame connection. They use that as an excuse to do things that are out of integrity. So like if you follow your integrity, you will grow into your own leadership. It will make you feel very firm in your energetic body, very centered, 
balanced and people will feel like you can be trusted because you are not making these emotional judgments based on whether you had a bad day. You don't project negative emotions on other people because it's not in alignment with your integrity. For instance, I'm just giving lots of examples so you can imagine what I'm talking about. My question for you is, are you in integrity in your life with different situations that are going on? Are those situations aligned with your values? Because this is how you know. You don't need to always like think how you are going to respond if you know your values. It helps you to see what is aligned and what isn't. And how would that Christ consciousness or your higher self-consciousness decide in those situations? What do you feel deep in your heart and mind when they are aligned? That is the right thing. And then once you know, you know, what is the right thing for you, then start acting on it more and more in, in the smallest cases. Practice it everywhere. And then your aura will get stronger and you will step more and more into the leadership. You will become the kind of person you always wanted to be. And there will be no inner splits in your energy. There will be no feelings of guilt or you are weakening your willpower, basically, if you don't live in alignment with your integrity. It creates splits and holes in your aura. And so those seal when you are in alignment with your integrity. And so a good place to start, if you've never thought about it, is to look at your values, those core values that don't change based on the situation, but they stay stable. They're always there. You can always count on them. This is a good start, how you can start using integrity as a tool of your own conscious self-leadership. Thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification bell and like and share with other people and I see you next time.